Ever wondered about your financial health? How secure are you in case of a financial emergency? Today, we're plunging into the concept of financial health, a crucial but often overlooked aspect of our lives. It's all about understanding your financial situation and being prepared for any curveballs life might throw at you. Financial health isn't just about having money in the bank, it's about how you manage that money, how you plan for the future, and how you handle financial stress. It's about balancing your income and expenses, paying off your debts, and saving for rainy days. And just like physical health, it requires regular checkups and conscious effort to maintain. Over the next few minutes, we'll be exploring 30 ways you can improve your financial health in just 30 days. These strategies range from checking your credit reports regularly to participating in no-spend challenges, and even simple things like saving on groceries. There's no one-size-fits-all solution, but with a little effort and determination, you can start making changes that will have a lasting impact. So, are you ready to take control of your financial health? Stay tuned to discover how you can improve your financial health in just a month. Start with the first five steps, easy yet impactful. First, we delve into the realm of checking your credit report. Regular reviews of these reports can provide a better understanding of your financial standing and help you spot any inaccuracies that could adversely impact finances. Next, we talk about checking your credit score. This critical step can provide in-depth insights into your financial health, allowing you to make informed decisions about your finances. Following this, we move on to setting up bank account alerts. This straightforward step can grant real-time updates on your financial transactions and balances, facilitating financial management and preventing any unpleasant surprises. Fourth on our list is purging unnecessary papers. This is an essential part of maintaining financial health as it enables you to declutter, organize and manage your financial documents efficiently. Lastly, we discuss reviewing your beneficiaries. Ensuring your assets go to the intended recipients can safeguard your financial legacy. Remember, these steps are just the beginning of your journey to financial health. Moving forward, let's dive into the next set of steps. Step 6 recommends you to download a budgeting app. This unique tool could help you keep track of your earnings, spending and savings effectively, thereby nudging your financial management skills a notch higher. Step 7 is all about updating your budget. Have any income increase or decrease or new expenses? It's essential to update your budget accordingly to maintain a balance between your income and spending. Now, let's talk about tracking spending. Step 8 suggests we can all do better by keeping a keen eye on our daily expenditures. Whether it's noting down every single expense, reviewing the bank statements regularly, or using an app, there are several ways to monitor spending. Step 9 introduces the crucial idea of kickstarting an emergency fund. Think you can put aside a little amount every month for unforeseen situations? It's a great way to prepare for any financial emergencies that might come your way. Finally, Step 10 emphasizes the need to plan for periodic expenses. Whether it's the yearly insurance premium, car maintenance or holiday spending, planning for these timely expenses can help you avoid any surprise deductions from your bank accounts. These steps might seem small, but they can make a big difference in your financial health. Ready for the next batch of steps? Here they are. Step 11 focuses on earning more on your savings. Think of it as a way of making your money work for you while you sleep. It's a way to multiply your funds without doing any extra work. Moving on to step 12, it talks about automating your savings. This is like having a personal savings assistant that never forgets or errs. It guarantees that a portion of your income goes directly to savings, ensuring you're always prepared for the future. Step 13 is about adding up high interest debt. It's like a magnifying glass for your finances, highlighting the areas where your money is being drained the most. Tackling these areas can free up a lot of your funds. Step 14 is about setting up automatic bill pay. It's the financial equivalent of a personal secretary taking care of your bills on time to avoid any penalties or late fees. It keeps your financial life running smoothly. Lastly, step 15 is about assessing your credit utilization. Consider this as a financial mirror reflecting your credit behavior. It's crucial for maintaining a healthy credit score and achieving your financial goals. Each step brings you closer to improved financial health. Let's dive right into the next five steps on our list. Our 16th step is to sign up for Experian Boost. It's an excellent tool that allows you to add on-time payments utilities, phone, streaming services, and rent to your credit report. This not only helps you keep track of your payments but also improves your credit score. Moving on to step 17, it's time to review your subscriptions. Ensure you're not spending money on services you barely use. 
your hard-earned money deserves better. The 18th step is about reducing food spending. It might sound challenging, but even small changes can make a significant impact. Consider meal prepping or cooking at home more often to save money. Our step is to try a no-spend challenge. It might seem intimidating at first, but remember, it's all about taking it one day at a time. It's a great way to save money and learn about your spending habits. And last but not least, step 20 is to avoid impulse buys. This is a crucial step towards achieving financial stability. By avoiding impulse purchases, you can save more and ensure that your money is spent wisely. Remember, is the key in this journey. Moving forward, we delve into the next batch of actions. Step 21, folks, is about decluttering your house. This not only helps with maintaining a clean environment, but it can also aid you in identifying unused items which you can sell for extra cash. Moving to step 22, it's vital to reduce your cable, cell phone, and internet costs. This small action can provide substantial savings on your monthly bills, leaving you with more money for other important expenses. Next, we come to step 23. We discuss lowering your car insurance bill. It's essential to not overpay and to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. Step 24 emphasizes the significance of taking steps to protect your identity. Life on the internet can be risky, and ensuring your personal information stays secure can save you from a lot of hassle. Lastly, on step 25, we talk about boosting your 401k contribution. It might seem intimidating at first, but increasing your retirement savings can significantly enhance your financial wellness and give you peace of mind. As you progress, you'll notice the positive changes in your financial status. Finally, let's delve into the last five steps. Step 26 is all about exploring your employee benefits. Understanding these benefits can be an effective way to enhance your overall financial picture and protect your income. Moving on to step 27, we focus on finding ways to make more money. This could be through a side job, freelancing, or investment. Step 28 encourages you to check your credit card perks. Many credit cards offer cash back, points, or other rewards that can add up over time. Next up, we have step 29, getting expert help. Consulting a financial advisor can provide you with tailored advice to manage your money effectively. Finally, for step 30, it's time to monitor your credit. Keeping a close eye on your credit report can help you catch errors, identify areas for improvement, and understand your financial health better. With these steps, you're equipped with a comprehensive plan to improve your financial health. Now that we've gone through all 30 steps, let's do a quick recap. Starting from the basics, we emphasize the importance of monitoring your credit and setting up alerts for your bank accounts. This proactive approach allows you to stay on top of your financial situation and avoid any unexpected surprises. Then we moved on to the importance of budgeting and saving for emergencies. These steps are key to ensuring you are prepared for any financial bumps in the road. We also touched on the often overlooked step of paying off debt, which can significantly improve your financial health. We introduced you to Experian Boost, a handy tool that allows you to add on-time utility, phone, streaming service, and rent payments to your credit report. This can give your credit score a nice little boost and further improve your financial standing. We also covered the importance of canceling unused subscriptions and finding ways to save on everyday expenses like groceries. Every little bit helps, and these savings can add up over time. We then moved on to the concept of no-spend challenges. These challenges can be a fun and effective way to save money and improve your financial health. They also provide an opportunity to evaluate your spending habits and identify areas where you can cut back. And finally, we wrapped up with the importance of continually checking your credit reports and setting financial goals. This ongoing commitment to your financial health is what will ultimately set you up for success. These steps, while seemingly simple, can have a profound impact on your financial health. They're designed to be taken one day at a time, making the process manageable and less overwhelming. Take these steps one day at a time and watch your financial health improve in just 30 days.